Another weekend, another game day. It's promising a lot because Magdeburg is coming to town. And since I don't support any of those clubs, neither the home team Victoria Cologne or Magdeburg, let's choose a neutral outfit and what suits me better today than my 996ers in grey and green. Yeah, good choice. But now I have to hurry a little because the game is starting soon. Victoria can be considered as a third driving force of football in Cologne, right behind Fortuna and the almighty FC Cologne. Their claim is to represent all the districts on the right side of the Rhine River. Locals call it the Shell Sig. Their stadium is called Sportspark Höhenberg, a nice little stadium with a capacity for 10,001 visitors. 12 euro for a place on the terraces, 19 euros for a seat on the main stand. Yep, seems fair. And since I'm cheap like Eastern European footballers in the 90s, I opted for a ticket on the terraces. The home supporter section is located on the Stubula steel stand and I guess it can house round about 500 to 700 people. And the best thing is, it offers a great view on the array section. Woohoo! That was my first goosebumps moment of the game. And already 12 euros well spent. And no disrespect to what Victoria Cologne, but I attended that game not because of the match itself, but mostly because I wanted to see the Magdeburg support with my own eyes. The dynamics of the games quickly shifted after a professional foul in the third minute close to the Magdeburg box. And the result? A red card for the captain, Tobias Müller. As if the red card wasn't enough for the front runner of the third division rankings, Simon Handler scored for Victoria. While it was a temporary downer for the Magdeburg fans, the Victoria support suddenly got louder and louder. Being down one man and a goal, 
You normally expect the fans to be a little demotivated, but take a look at those passionate fans from Magdeburg. <laughs> opinion, Magdeburg deserves to play much, much higher. I would even consider them as one of the last sleeping giants here in Germany. Almost 50 years ago, they were on the throne of Europe after winning the Cup Winners' Cup against AC Milano with 2-0. But after the German reunification, they fell victim to the reforms when both German league systems were combined. While being one of the driving forces of East German football, they found themselves in the lower divisions of the German league system and it took them a long time to get out of there. of game it could have been without the early red card for Magdeburg. But kudos to Victoria. The three points are really important in their relegation battle this season. It's nice to see that Victoria as a city district club is getting more and more attention. Even though the active supporters are small in numbers, something is brewing on the right side of the Rhine River. But Magdeburg? I honestly fell in love with their support today. Traveling 400 kilometers on a weekday and bringing more than 1000 fans to a third division game just awesome! Even though Union Berlin will always be my undisputed personal number one, Magdeburg definitely climbed up to the strong sympathy level. Thank you so much for tuning in today and look out for the next week when we attend the Bundesliga match between FC Cologne and my club Union Berlin. My name is Björn, this is Futur, have a nice day.